Now that the one device is unlocked and configured correctly as the access point, you can begin working on the other device and set it up as the station. Complete the unlock process for that second radio and connect the device to the power supply and computer using your Ethernet cables. For this radio too, there are many configuration settings that you may want to modify within the radio's user interface, but first we will focus on getting the link set up and connected. For further details, you can use help.mimosa.co to get additional information. In another browser window, while plugged into the Ethernet port, type 192.168.1.20 to access the other B5 Lite radio. Use the password that was established during the initial setup. Be sure to place the radios in a position that are not directly pointed at one another, as the power of the radios can still connect without the full strength of the signal. From the dashboard, click on the link menu and select the wireless mode of station in the TDMA configuration. Following a save, the radio must reboot to apply the changes. The web page will return to the user interface automatically once the system has completed the reboot. Log back in to continue the process. Again in the link menu, click on Scan for SSIDs under Link Configuration. After a moment, the list of available SSIDs are shown, including the access point radio. Select that radio for a connection. Save that configuration, navigate to the dashboard and the radios will show as connected and you can now begin the link aiming and optimization process.